I'm uh, actually kind of lost and which isn't a big deal I don't really care about that but I just looked down and uh, I'm out of gas my uh, needle is buried Beach was where I could find a tire and they were holding it for me when I got there. So they put the tire on for us and we continued on up the uh, east coast. We did the outer banks. We actually camped on Ocracoke Island. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. And uh, it's my wife's first camping experience and it was uh, a nightmare. That was the last time that we camped on that trip. Anyway, we continued that trip all the way up the East Coast, I tried to abbreviate this, all the way up the East Coast to Maine. We went to Bar Harbor, Maine. We caught a car ferry in Bar Harbor, Maine and went over to Nova Scotia. So we rode around Nova Scotia, <laughs> the whole south and, and east shore of Nova Scotia. And we got most of the way up to the north end where it was just about to get real interesting up on the uh, uh, Cabot Trail, I believe they call it. Anyway, I ran out of time. That, whole trip was uh, not planned. I guess I can't say not planned. I wanted to go that way, but I had no clue how far we were going to ride, how far uh, I was going. All I know is I had two weeks. I wanted to see my parents in South Carolina, introduce my girlfriend, and I wanted to ride the East Coast. And I was very interested in doing Nova Scotia, but I didn't do any research on that. So I really, once we got there, I probably missed some of the key locations and as it turned out I did <clears throat> because uh, we were running out of time so I had to uh, I had to uh, head back had a couple of days left to get back here to Wisconsin so we boogied on back and uh, that was the end of that trip um, the end of that summer that first bike 1984 Aspicade had 17,000 miles on it so needless to say, I, we were doing a lot of riding. The following year, uh, we did Colorado, we did uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, used to do a lot of uh, weekend getaways with the guys. We'd leave my place on Friday afternoon after work. We'd ride up to Superior, which is like 350 miles. And Saturday, we'd ride into Canada up to Thunder Bay. It was a place where we had camped there up the North Shore Lake Superior and on Sunday we would turn around and ride back. Those usually turned out to be oh in the neighborhood of 1400 mile weekends I guess we used to do. And we did those quite a few times. And a couple years later uh, I had another uh, I hope this has been recording that thing's been out of my helmet there. If it's not I, I'm going to be disappointed. A couple years later uh, we did another ride where we, uh, uh, another crazy one where we had a destination and a time frame, but really not a lot of insight into uh, uh, what it was going to take to do the trip. And uh, that was to go to Prince Rupert, British Columbia over on the west coast right below Alaska. And we wanted to do Alaska, but I knew I wasn't going to have enough time for that. Anyway, that trip turned out to be another 6,200 miles that we did in uh, 13 days. I did the north, the uh, inland passage down to uh, uh, island right off of Vancouver there, and uh, some famous gardens there. You know, I'm really short of names here, but some famous gardens there that we happened to visit. And uh, anyway, we made it back, and I say that was like 6,200 miles in about 13 days. Um, we continued to ride a lot, and then uh, we were married. We got married, and I before that trip, even I was married. And then uh, shortly thereafter, in uh, uh, approaching uh, 1990, we had uh, a child, uh, AJ, our son, who's now 21 years old. We're going to be here in August. Um, so, and we purchased a small business, which uh, started between. Uh, 
having a child and a small business, uh, we were pretty much out of time. Uh, so I sold the bike, and we were without a bike for probably 15 years. At that point in time, I want to say I probably had an accumulated mileage of riding in the 75,000 miles. Something like that, I would say, yeah. So then we were without a bike for about 15 years. I would sneak a ride here and there from a friend or brother-in-law had a gold wing. I did uh, sneak a camping trip in up to uh, Grand Marais up on the North Shore Lake Superior one year with my son when he was, uh, oh, probably 17 or so. And then here a couple of years ago, I uh, can't remember, it must be four years ago now, uh, friend of mine who had moved to Florida some eight years before that had a uh, Goldwing, the one that I happen to be riding right now, and he was uh, desiring to get rid of it. So uh, we negotiated a price that I was comfortable with, and I, I said I'd take it, and I flew down. He lives by Orlando. I flew down to Orlando. I spent the night, got on the bike the next day, and I drove it home. Uh, without having been on the bike much in years, I managed to uh, crank out about almost 800 miles that first day from uh, where he's at to uh, Paducah, Kentucky, I believe is where we got. And even then I, I planned to keep riding, but um, it got dark and it started raining like crazy and there's one thing that I'm not comfortable with doing is riding in the rain in the dark. I feel like uh, I'm blind, so it's not a very comfortable uh, thing. So I pulled over and uh, spent the night in a motel. Since then, uh, I haven't been able to do a whole lot of riding, but uh, uh, the wife and I would uh, do some rides uh, on Sundays. Sundays are our day off and we would go do some rides. And we started doing this, uh, uh, it's a local thing, it's Cannon Run uh, 66 it was called. It's a, a fundraiser, motorcycle, uh, Thing, you know everybody buys tickets and you stop at all these like a poker run you stop at all these places turn in your tickets maybe you win something maybe you don't there's a big party at the end maybe you win something maybe you don't uh, but anyway uh, that aside it does have wonderful riding destinations a lot of places that I probably never would have rode to or even thought of road riding to because I was uh, unaware of them uh, so you become aware of a lot of neat stuff uh, I highly recommend if you have uh, things like that in your area that you uh, check them out because uh, it gives you a lot of cool riding destinations. Well, we wanted to be able to ride more uh, than that and so we needed to do some things to uh, our lifestyle so that we could have more time. I'm going to pull over and check this camera here quick, uh, take a little moment. Because it uh, looks like it might be moving a little, and if it's moving, um, not gonna be, uh, not gonna get to look at my pretty face. Oh man, just a second.